How do you condense complex science down to just three minutes? That's the challenge for 24 competitors in the three-minute thesis. As if the time limit's not hard enough, contestants have to communicate their research to a broad audience comprised of expert judges, high school students, and the general public. Every year, one of these three people will lose their balance. It's not fair to punish these people like normal criminals. It was about the size of a golf ball. They're much closer to a happy marriage than a romantic fling. The most happiness, but with the least health effect. It's about communicating our research, and it's teaching skills to our research candidates that are going to go with them for the rest of their lives. Part of the process, it actually got me more enthusiastic about my work because I could see um, how other people could be interested in as well. For the winner, there's the honour of representing UNSW at the Trans-Tasman three-minute thesis final, some handy prize money, and the prospect of appearing on the ABC's long-running program, The Science Show. When I heard them getting better and better over the years, I thought that's got to be broadcast, as a result of which I've put them on The Science Show virtually every week for years. For us, I think the judges left wanted to do more about every single talk that we heard today. So it's less about performance and more about understanding of the relevance to science in society and the research in society. And I think UNSW can be justifiably proud that we have got a vast cohort of PhD students that are going to make a real difference tomorrow. This year saw Scott Yulton's speech on skeletal marriage counselling take out both the People's Choice Award and the Aspire Award, which is judged by high school students. I think that, that was the thing that I liked the most about it, is that it wasn't just the general audience, it was the school kids, which is so important, and particularly working in science, given that most of the people that are going to end up funding my research aren't going to be scientists. So if I can actually speak to people and engage with a range of people, that's, yeah, it's flattering. I'm stoked. Finally, the moment everyone's been waiting for. And our winner is Susan Island. It's quite, quite a thrill. Yay! There's certainly a lot of interest in sweeteners and in health. It's actually helped me a lot as well just to clarify my project and have, have more of an aim as I go forward with it. So absolutely, definitely do take part in it and it will be heaps of fun. It'll be scary, but it'll be worth it.